What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I'm going to show you beekeeping equipment, what I use and probably what most of the beginner beekeepers have to have. Let's check this out. First of all, of course, the protection. This suit is the best. I used to have different suit and I would sweat so much. After working five hives, my whole suit would be sticky. I would be so sweaty because it was just super, super hot and it would be full body suit. This year I got an upgrade and I wish I didn't waste my money on my other suit because they cost about 100 bucks. And look at this suit. As you can see, it's a see-through and it's like a mesh inside of it. And that's why it's really, really thick, but the air can go through really easily. So that way it's not that hard to be working in this kind of suit. So I really fall in love in this suit. I've worked in it for a couple of days now and it's amazing. I love this suit the best. So if you are a beekeeper or trying to get in into beekeeper, make sure get this kind of suit. You won't regret getting this kind of suit because some days it's gonna be 100 degrees out and you have to suit up like that. It's just giant coat and you have to lift boxes, putting them back, look around, move around and it just gets way too hot. And also I love this side here because you can just put over your neck and two straps right here, boom! Super easy and there is velcro and everything right here so that way they cannot go through into you either all the bees and of course I got here gloves this is a good gloves as well because the air can go through over here most of the time bees don't even attack me but they do get sometimes riled up and they can just swarm you and you can get stunned like 50 or 100 times so I like to work in a bee suit. Some people don't use the bee protection because they've been working beehives for so many years that they get stunned probably hundreds of times that they don't even feel it anymore. I like to have a suit just in case because safety is number one priority. For the next gadget we got a smoker right here. So what we're going to do is open it up like this, boom. And then you can put in there like uh, maybe sawdust, dry grass or this kind of stuff. So that stuff that is kind of going to smoke really good. Boom, just like this. And I also love to use the butane torch because it's easiest way to start it. Just like that. And boom, you see? Then you press it right here and start to smoke it. For a minute you just gonna blow it like that. Once it's smoking pretty good, you can close it and boom. So let me show you how it's used. Let's open this hive up. And boom, you see how much bees there is. So what I would do, I would smoke them a little bit. So that way they would run away. So that way I put the box back on. I don't squeeze that many bees at all. This is what the smoke is for. Also, you get them to come down. So when you open the hive, they don't attack you as much either. For the next gadget, I got this little tool right here. They actually come different sizes and different shapes, but I got this kind. So what this tool for? The hives get really sticky. So what you're supposed to do, you have to open it like that and then you lift it up. Smoke up the bees a little bit. You see how they run away? Let me check on this hive. This is not the stone gas hive, so let me see how it's doing. Boom. Look at that. There's all that is nectar, so they bring in the honey really good. So, where do I put this frame? Usually I would have to put the frame, um, the extra frame, like this. So I have space to take out more frames. Makes sense, right? Let's see how this hive is doing. Nice, they have lots of nectar in this frame as well. A lots of pollen. Also, I'm looking for if there is any beetle. 
I don't see any beetles so I'm going to put it back there's actually even cupped off brood like uh, the bee eggs and stuff so I'm gonna put it back like this but what I kind of don't like to do put in a frame like that it looks like it might fall off so there's another gadget is like this let me move this a little bit what you would do is put it like this on the side of your hive and you can put this frame down here even though it looks like you can put a lot of frames down here I wouldn't put more than two or three frames down here because one time I kind of hit this with my arm and it's kind of flexible so the frame was sitting here and it fell down and I think it even killed the queen egg so I would not put more than one or two honestly like that and you don't need more space than take one out now you can actually go through the hive a lot easier now I wouldn't even put more than two over there anyways because look how much space I have to work with the bees and you see I use my tools to separate the frames let's pull them out nice looks like pretty good brood right here the queen is laying good wow nice nice so looks like they will multiply in size really really soon once again I don't see any beetle so that looks good I'm gonna put it back so we're doing a hive inspection pretty much right now I'm gonna do just one more frame and I'm not gonna bother the bees that much anymore you don't want to get in into the bees too often that looks good as well let's see if I can find the queen too wow these bees are doing strong even though this is my weaker hive this hive is doing just fine I see lots of young bees lots of larvae lots of eggs so that's awesome I'm just gonna put it all back together by the way every time I take out the frames I have to put it back the way it was it must be you see how the bees kind of getting agitated and flying around like and attacking me so you can smoke it a little bit not too much just a little bit to get them to come down that's what you use the smoke for you don't want to just smoke them too much and then look right here I'm just gonna grab this frame and put it back in and bees are less disturbed this way nice okay this guy is doing just fine I'll leave it alone and don't forget to take this out before you put a new box on top of it boom there you go awesome this guy is doing really good it was super weak now they multiply and really good oh no it's starting to rain I might have to take a break I want to show you another gadget it kind of stopped raining almost so I'm gonna do it really quickly and I also want to check on this smaller hive right here smoke them up a little bit you see there is another example this is sticky you see I tried to lift it up it get, they like to uh, plug everything up boom open it up whoa this hive is getting good and healthy so I probably will have to come back and give them another box pretty soon but once again I use this tool to open it up let me smoke it up a little bit so the bees give me some space to work with and then you see I would usually have to open it up like this and it's pretty uncomfortable to get the frame out so there is another tool is like this usually it's uh opens it up and then you hold it but one of my springs come off so I have to fix it but what you could do is just hold it like this and pull it out boom this is a much smaller hive you see they haven't built up anything over here then once once again you have to pull it up like this so it's not sticked 
to each other anymore, then you grab it like that and pull it out. They bring in lots of nectar. I want to see if this bee is laying good because this is my weakest hive right now. So a couple of weeks ago, I didn't see that much of uh, eggs. I mean, I did see eggs, but I want to see if it's continuous growing well. If there's good brood over there. Okay, once again, there's lots of pollen, lots of nectar. They're burning lots of nectar to store it for the winter. I'll put this back in. You see, this tool is actually really good. That way, I don't even have to use my hands. I disturb the bees much less. I love this. I should be using this tool a lot more. Nice. Well, looks like this uh, brood is not too bad. Yeah, this is actually good brood right here. Chileans really good. Look at this cupped off honey right here. And there's full nectar all over over here. And once again, I don't see any mites on them. I don't see any beetles. Very healthy hive, even though it's very weak hive. Usually the weak hives are the ones that are suffer from beetle and mites. The best protection from mites and beetles is keep your hive really, really big and strong. When they weak, that's how they get attacked easily by mites and beetles. Nice, look at that brood. Doesn't look too bad. It would be nicer if it was, if it was all cupped up, brood even thicker. But that does not look too bad either. Look at that cupped off honey here too. You know what guys, I think I'm gonna bring uh, a second box and give them more space because very soon they're going to hatch. So they will need a lot more space. So then I can just use like this, this tool. Grab it and move it up together. That's what it's used for. Then I can just push it up together. And the last one right here. Beautiful. My weakest hive is not weak anymore. It looks healthy. They multiplying in size. Amazing. Looks like they don't like this anymore. I don't know why. You see they're getting a little bit agitated. So I'm gonna smoke it up, up a little bit. That's why we use a smoker. Alright. Okay, then I'm going to cover them up once again. I got a stunt right to the jeans. I'm just going to cover them back up. This hive is awesome. I'm definitely going to have to give them an, a second box. Just like this one. If I don't give them a second box in time, what they will do, they will make a new queen and they will actually will swarm and split and I will lose half of the bees. So that's why I cannot be late and I have to give them a second box really soon. Also, it's raining right now, so I'm gonna finish up this video up in the shop. And the last gadget right here is made for the super. You got here 10 frame hive. What I'm going to do is just take out two frames and take them away. But I'm gonna spread this around like this. And it's just simple uh, separator. I just go like this a couple of times. Boom. And as you can see, you have perfect spaced out eight frames. And this way, on your super, you'll get way more honey than with uh, 10 frames because they have a lot more space to make the comb much thicker and longer. So you'll fit way more hives than having 10 frames inside of a super. So this is what this gadget is for, just spreading these frames in a perfect space, equal amount. Awesome, isn't it? 
I really like this gadget. I actually using this gadget first year. Pretty soon I'll be harvesting honey. I don't need to use it, so I'll put it back. Cool, huh? One more gadget I forgot to tell you about right here. It's a beekeeping brush. You can brush off bees before you put boxes together. I don't really use it that much, but maybe when I catch a swarm, it will be pretty useful. But so far, I have not used it once. So hopefully one day I'll catch a swarm and I will be able to use it to brush off the bees, maybe in a box or something like that. We'll see. Well guys, hopefully it was somewhat helpful and interesting video because some of you might be become a beekeeper, so now you know what you need to get. Also, if you want to see more beekeeping video, follow me on the second channel, links in description. I'm also going to put a playlist for beekeeping videos if you want to see more that I have done probably more than 14 videos with my beekeeping. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.